He fled Cuba to come to America. He was only 14 years old when he got here. Since then, he's won 19 Grammys. Emilio is here with me right now. Great to have you on the show. Good morning, sir. How are you? You're a mogul. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you don't mind that expression, I don't know about sure. That. <laughs> I've got a serious question to start with. We often hear that the American dream is not available to everyone anymore, especially to people of color. Would you pass judgment on that? I think, you know, we go to ups and downs. But we live in the best country in the whole world. We have freedom, one thing that people take it for granted. And you know, when you have freedom, that, uh, it's like when I came from Cuba, I flew because I felt that you know, I didn't want to live in a communist country. Going, my recommendation is we have to support America and look, look always with a positive attitude to be sure that you know something we contribute to the incredible land that we live. Well, I'm an immigrant, and I feel exactly the same way. Contribute yeah. something positive to this Absolutely. great country. You now live, uh, you, you have eight different businesses in the state of Florida. You cover everything. I mean, hotels and heaven knows what else. How's business in Florida? Business is good. Florida is excellent. I mean, Miami, we're doing excellent. I'm very happy because, you know, we get a lot of people from Latin America, and we get a lot of people from Europe. I mean, definitely the economy is fantastic. The real estate is fantastic. I think... Uh, what I feel about, for the, especially Miami, is a role model for a lot, a lot of cities because we have the Jewish community, the Italians, I mean, the, I mean it's so many diversified of people, and, you know, and we love the city. We feel like one family, and that's why we never left Miami because we love uh, that feeling. And business is real good in Florida? Uh, real good. I mean, you know something, I, I think for many years, I think the, this is the best time that we have in, the, in Miami because the real estate. A lot of businesses, I mean, even restaurants are sold out, I mean, and the, it's a great thing. I think the whole promotion we did about taxes, so that people pay less taxes, so a lot of people oh, yeah. move to, uh, to South oh, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we understand that. <laughs> that you, you, for, forgive me, but this is a, a financial show, so I'm going to ask you a question which we, you, you don't have to answer. Yeah. Are you a billionaire? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but, you know, my life, is, I'm going to tell you, my life is not really about money. Believe it or not, yeah. I think... To, uh, but it's I, nice to have it, isn't it? It's very nice yeah. to have it. But you know something, I was a kid that used to play accordion for tips. And when I was a kid, to get my mom uh, out of Cuba, and it was a lot of time that, you know, you learn sometimes when you go to tough times in life to enjoy life. And because money doesn't make a big difference. Some believe, yeah, it makes a big difference in your life, but it, not in the principle to have a good life. And I think, you know, I think the reason I have many operations the business is because I never want my kids to go what I went through. Yeah. Coming to a new place and being difficult, you know, to get and to make money. For us, it was hard because we, had, we came with a totally different sound. I mean, seven, say, I, mean I, I went to Sony seven times. I was not allowed to go upstairs. You know, they, the, the first day that I went upstairs, they told me, Conga will never work in the States, in any country in the world. Yeah. You have to, have to take the tumba, you have to do and you have to take, change your last name. I said, listen, I think people like to like, they have to like you because they like you who you are and they need to know who you are. I didn't change anything. And me and Gloria, we went to many places with the record. Six weeks later, was number one in England, in Holland, in France, in Germany, all over the world, then the United States. That's the best answer I've ever had on Are You a Billionaire? That was <laughs> yeah. a really good one. But I, I got to ask you, what are you doing in New York? New York, we're doing that. We're going to have an incredible fashion show this week. I mean, tonight. A fashion show. A fashion show. And, you know, it's going to be all with world music, especially Latino music. So it's going to be like a celebration. Celebration. I think, you know, something minority sometimes. When I, I think I, I love when we combine, like, you know, the African Americans and Latinos and Americans and, you know, other people like you that are an immigrant that, uh, to celebrate. Celebrate America, celebrate, you know, the, like I said, the, I think a lot of people take America for granted. I think so. But let me tell you, when things are back here, don't look other places. That they're going to be a lot worse than the way we are. But I think, you know, something, I believe in America. Oh, we love to do I, I don't want to lose that. I know, we, I know my kids, you know, wake up in the morning and think, you know, we, we're free. We can do it. And you have opinions. You like things. You don't like things. But the main thing is to have the love for this country more than this anything else. This program loves success whether you're a billionaire or not. Emilio Estefan, thank you. I'm going to check. I'm going to check. I'm going to call you next week. <laughs> yeah, let me know, please, please. Emilio, it's a real pleasure. Thank, thank you very so much, much indeed, sir. Thank you so much. Much obliged. Sir.